the new Demetro Blazing Zord, we can make the Blazing, Blazing Megazord. Megazord. Combined with Mosa Razor Zord to get the Electro the Zord. Electro -Zord. Combined with T-Rex and Mosa Razor to get the Fusion Ultra, Fusion Zord. Ultra Zord. And then I call this the Ultimate Rampage Omega Bruno Concoction Dino Too Many Zord. Maybe that name needs a little bit of work. Hey guys, my Demetra Zord is here. I think I can make a bigger thing than that. Let me try again. All right, now that's a pretty big giant thing. All right, what do we call this formation? I think I used up all my, my words on the other one. <laughs> I guess you guys will have to tell me in the comments. Okay, watch this. Who can tell me what they think is going on here? Did everybody guess when the mouth opens it's the American version and with the mouth closed it's the Japanese version? They look really similar, don't they? The gold paint on the Japanese version is more sparkly and there are more paint apps. Hasbro's has more details, comes with more accessories, the mouth can open. We've still got all of the translucent orange. I think in a lot of ways Hasbro's kind of the winner. I do like the extra pieces they give you, and they don't come at the expense of anything else. So if you're somebody that doesn't like them, you didn't lose something else that you did want to get these, they're just extra parts, but you can make bigger things with them. I especially like these translucent things that look like some combination of wings, blades, and flames. The Megazord can hold these, or you can plug them in wherever you want. And this is a really cool weapon. The Metrozord gets a thumbs up from me. I'll have direct links for all the Zords in the video description right below the video. All right, let's try the Morpher. I think it's the same as the Red Ranger, right? It works, it's fire. Yeah, same as Red. And then we'll switch over to Turtles real quick. I found a few more figures at Target. I found Dirk Savage, the Mutant Hunter, that was a really exciting episode for me, because I always love whenever my toys appear as characters on the show. And that had Mondo Gecko, which is one of my favorites, as well as the frogs. And it also had Toka and Rezar from the movie. Uh, they made characters based on the toys, which was really cool. That makes sense. Actually, let me explain that better. So in the movie, The Secret of the Use, this is what Toka and Rezar looked like. And then at the time, Playmates made movie toys, and this is what they looked like in toy form. And then unexpectedly, they showed up in the TV show as cartoon characters, and clearly it was the toys that were referenced for the animation, not the movie suits. Dirk Savage is part of a two-pack, which also includes Mona Lisa, and she was one of my favorite figures as a kid, too. So when I took my frogs out for this video, I realized their legs were very loose. When I tried to stand them up, their feet just wanted to spread apart. That's no good if you want them to stand up. Well, in this video, it might appear that only one of them has that issue, and that's because I fixed one already. Now, I know some people feel you shouldn't have to do this, but what are your options? Either your frogs aren't going to stand up, or you can fix it. So, here's how I did it. I was just going to say there will, of course, be a direct link in the video description, but for some reason, this stuff is a fortune right now. I'll still link to it so you can see what it is and, you know, check your local stores, but for some reason, it's really expensive. But uh, if anybody else has something they use that's less expensive, feel free to, to mention that in the comments. But I just use a little bit and then wipe it away, and then when it's dry, your figure should not be loose anymore. If any of your Dino Fury Zords are doing that, you could do the same thing with them. Another thing you could also try is putting a little piece of toilet paper in the socket and then putting the foot back in. That's pretty amazing. I couldn't get them to stand up when I first took them out of the box. Now I can't get them to fall down. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. And I've also been using my hair dryer trick in all the recent NECA figures I've been showing. These are good things to know if you have a lot of figures. All right, I'm getting in here. Thank you guys for watching. Good night. For trivia, in Power Rangers Dino Fury, who created the android Jborg? True or false, the Power Rangers Dino Fury Rangers fought Lord Zed. All right, more good stuff coming. Make sure you're subscribed. See you in the next video.